Hi there, welcome back to another Crypto Dave video. It's Friday, which means another crypto interest rates and news update. Today is the 22nd of October, 2021. And as always, we start by looking at any new coins or rate changes. And uh, last week we talked about Swissborg announcing an additional 25% on top of their um, their current rates, which was current rates last kind of week. So that's now uh, coming to fruition. Now we update the Swissborg rates with an average of the last 30 days, seems to be the most accurate way to do it. And we've seen some movements. The, the really big increase this week has been a Binance coin. So up to an average of 8.77 for a regular user, 17.5% for premium users. Uh, the rest of them sort of gone up and down a little bit. Ethereum's up a fraction, uh, Bitcoin's down a little bit, uh, Ripple's down, um, Polygon I think was up a fraction, um, Swissborg itself was down but the stable coins were up a little bit. So um, with the exception of BNB, no massive kind of changes but we are seeing a little bit of fluctuation for the first time, at least two or three of these going up a fraction rather than uh, down. In addition, uh, there are some yield app uh, updates. So Ethereum has gone from 6.5% down to 6% uh, base rate and the stable coins have gone up from 105 to 11%. So a nice little increase in the stable coins, disappointing a little uh, decrease in Ethereum, but no uh, huge changes there. And then the only other one to talk about really is Nexo. So this uh, massive uh, promotional rate now, it must uh, mentioned that this is purely a promotional rate. It will uh, be live till the end of November, I believe, but you can earn up to 17% on Polkadot on a Nexo up until the end of November. So if you're uh, interested in, or if you're staking it elsewhere, um, uh, you might want to consider moving it to kind of Nexo to take advantage of the next kind of five, five and a half weeks worth of uh, promotional rates. So then moving on to token prices. So uh, Bitcoin's had a fantastic week. We hit an all-time high uh, yesterday or the day before yesterday, uh, two days ago. We hit uh, 50, uh, 67, sorry, 67,000. Uh, before yesterday afternoon, uh, quite a, a steep kind of a reversal. Went down to about 62,000. Currently um, trickling sort of back upwards a little bit. Currently sat at around 63 and a half thousand dollars, but a really good week for Bitcoin, up 10%. Uh, the same can't be said for some of the uh, tokens. Uh, Yield App and Celsius both down over 10%. Uh, a pretty uh, appalling week for both of those. Yield App was um, a bit unusual because it had a massive spike up um, after about three days into the kind of week. It was up, I think, sort of like 20, 30% uh, that particular day. And it's given up all those kind of gains and more so. And then even today, we can see in the last kind of day or so, another big uh, drop off. So that's down 11%. Celsius Network's just kind of been bleeding out all week down 10.5%. Nexo on the other hand up 34.8%. Massive a rise up in the uh, price of Nexo token. Swissborg up 1.6 and Crypto.com up 4.1. Both uh, outperformed by Bitcoin but uh, Nexo the standout, uh, standout performer this week by a long way. So we talked about the yield app rate changes. Um, the other one um, I wanted to mention, which I just mentioned, was the uh, Polkadot rate. So you can earn up to 17% interest on Polkadot now on Nexo. Uh, you can read all about it on this article here. As always, the articles are linked in the description below. Um, interest gets paid out uh, daily on Nexo. Um, and as I said there, uh, it's available through to November the 30th. So um, these are the individual kind of rates. So starting at 12% base rate, uh, which is still pretty decent, up to a maximum of 17% for uh, platinum users. So uh, really nice to see a promotional um, sort of offer like this really. Um, you know, it's only for five weeks, but um, if you've got a lot of uh, Polkadot and you were uh, wondering what to kind of do with it, you can dump it on Nexo now, certainly for the next five weeks. We'll have to see what the rates um, then revert back to after that. But um, yeah, nice to see a little bit of a promotion there. Uh, staying with Nexo for a minute, um, they are at a FinTech conference, which is Money 2020, which has been held in Las Vegas uh, between the 24th and 27th of October. So in the next uh, week, and Nexo will have a booth there. It's booth number 1822. So if you are going to this for, for work or whatever reason, uh, you can stop by the Nexo booth and uh, talk to them, find out a little bit more information about the company. So nice to see them uh, reaching out um, beyond sort of like uh, traditional, um, uh, sort of like pure crypto into kind of like, you know, financial technology and stuff like that. Nice to see them there. And then um, moving on to the next story. This is um, New York Attorney General orders closure of two crypto firms and investigate in a third one. Uh, that the headline is completely misleading. They're not doing that at all. What they've actually done is written to two crypto firms offering interest-based products on cryptocurrency and asked them to um, 
the cease and desist basically asking them to stop offering products to New York residents and then the third one uh, they're asking for more information now um, they they redacted all the um, the company information from uh, the letters but rather stupidly nobody changed the file name uh, one of them was directed to Nexo this is one of the closure ones and the um, investigation one was directed to Celsius I'm not sure about the other uh, closure firm now Nexo responded immediately and said well we don't offer our products to New York uh, residents anyway they're using um, GOIP blocking so I don't know whether people have been using potentially VPNs to get around that and they have actually been uh, offering services Services to New York residents but anyway they will you know they turn around and say well we don't offer this anyway uh, I, I unsure as the the other firm that was uh, required to close down but Celsius was definitely the third one uh, that was that they were asking more information so this is just the latest in a long kind of stream of uh, New York New Jersey Texas Kentucky um, individual kind of like states going after crypto interest products basically as unregulated securities um, and a, a few companies so BlockFi have been called out by this Nexo Celsius and various others so this is just the latest in uh, something that's been going on probably for about six months now so uh, we'll keep you up to date with any changes as they uh, come on but I think this is a story that's going to run and run until we see either an, an outright ban or um, one or two of them being kind of like kind of cleared or people getting licenses etc etc and then uh, staying with Celsius for a minute uh, they've just completed a 400 million dollar uh, fundraising round so uh, this has pushed their valuation to three billion dollars so a really really large point four of a billion dollars um, uh, raise here and it was um, it was um, uh, led by West Cap and also Cass de Depot at uh, placement de Quebec apologies for my appalling French accent which is in a Canadian based uh, global investment uh, group and then we've got a New York based uh, uh, growth equity firm which is West Cap there as well so uh, a massive um, round so last year we talked about their 30 million round um, and you know a year later we're talking about a 400 million raise which is uh, approximately three or four times bigger than the entire uh, uh, the entire valuation of Celsius a year ago so a huge raise for Celsius and no doubt they'll be uh, using that money uh, for various um, projects and kind of like you know kind of like growth uh, going forward but uh, uh, Celsius are growing phenomenally kind of quickly we've seen the same type thing with uh, crypto.com as well huge number of partnerships and stuff like that uh, there and then um, something which we've been waiting for for um, probably a, a good year or so which is a swap function uh, within Celsius so uh, staying with Celsius for a minute now uh, most of these other platforms offer either an exchange in the case of uh, crypto.com and uh, Nexo or at least some simple swap um, that BlockFi and Ledin now offer uh, now swap functionality will be coming to Celsius it's currently in beta uh, you can sign up here so I'll put this link in the description below you can put in your uh, name email address and your country of residence it's not going to be available to everyone in the world depending on your uh, location because they're not allowed to offer these services to some people um, you can check whether you're already a Celsius user and um, I've actually done this I haven't had my early access um, sort of in, um, enabled yet but I'm waiting to uh, see when that comes through but you can basically um, sign up for the early beta and it'll be rolled out to more and more people over the, uh, up over the coming uh, weeks and kind of months uh, hopefully it'll be pretty soon and certainly before the end of the kind of year so if people are wanting to kind of um, swap out of some coins maybe swap um, from the peaks into stable coins or something like that they'll be able to do so in app rather than having to withdraw and use a conventional exchange so nice to see this coming it's a little bit late I think think um, this year I would like to see this a few months ago a bit like the the leaden kind of uh, rollout but at least it's now in progress and we're starting to see uh, what it will look like I'll keep you posted uh, when my or if and when uh, my beta access is uh, granted and uh, uh, I'll do a video maybe kind of like uh, looking through the kind of like process and we'll work out how good it is and then just finally um, a story from Ledin. So they have a new uh, referral program. So uh, basically, if you are signed up to Ledin, if you use a referral link, and shameless plug, there is a referral link for myself in the description below. Uh, but you don't have to use obviously mine. But if you use somebody's 
um, uh, referral link, you will get uh, $10 as a new user signing up and the person who referred you will get $10 as well. And the minimum amount of crypto you've got to uh, deposit onto the uh, platform is, sorry, let me just uh, move the email over here so you can read this, uh, is only $75 in USDC or 0 0.0015 uh, Bitcoin and it must remain in the account for 15 consecutive days. There is now a referral page once you log into the uh, Ledin platform that shows you everybody who signed up using your link and I think whether they've uh, deposited the required money, etc., etc. So if you were looking to check out uh, Ledin, uh, you can get ten dollars free for signing up uh, if you use a somebody's referral link and uh, only seventy-five dollars or zero point zero zero one five Bitcoin in order to activate uh, that bonus. So that's it for this week. Thanks very much for watching. As always, hope you're all keeping uh, safe and well. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Uh, look after yourselves. Uh, have a nice day. Hopefully, I'll see you on the next video. But until then, bye bye.